Back here at dark 30 this morning, we're gonna haul another, I don't know, 10 or 12 loads, and that's pretty much going to wrap out all the hauling for this side. Didn't need the truck much, just uh, about two hours to move a little bit of this dirt, and the rest of it we're gonna pretty much just cut and lay it up there with the excavator and spread it out with the dozer. So I'm gonna get down here and warm up the 550. I'm gonna set the laser up. Where'd my flag go? Right there, over there and uh kind of get a shot for the water level and know about where the pond dam's at and uh that way we can kind of have an idea of how much more dirt we need right here i think we're getting pretty close to the grade it needs to be but uh down here definitely needs to come up a whole lot so i'm gonna check uh check over everything on this thing real quick and fire it up let's load out some dirt now so the truck pretty much takes two and a half scoops. If you get two heaping scoops, it takes a half of one. So I just, right now, it just seems like it's easier to just get uh, three, three quarter scoops and uh, fill the truck up. Getting it packed in.
starting to get a hole down here now. So this is pretty, pretty close to grade. And then grade is probably about the top of the tires right there. And then once it gets down there to the bottom, now it's probably the hood. And then it's going to be close to probably the top of the roller right there. It's deceiving. Looks flat, but it's not. So, Pond Dam's going to widen out once we start getting down here just because we have to go. You can kind of see how we start flaring it out because it's got to go up so much higher. So, we should get the uh, majority of this dirt here cut out and put on the Pond Dam today. I had a little bit more clay up in there that I drove back in there and got for up here. I got a little bit more I can lay up here if I need it. But the rest of it's going to come from right here. And whatever we can't get from here is going to have to come from that hillside over there, which is a whole lot more uh, area than right here. So it shouldn't be a problem at all. Now we are pretty much just digging and pushing the dirt where it needs to go. Pretty much this pile just has to be laid up there and pushed into place and rolled in. Sit back up here. Start laying some more dirt up there for him to push. We're pretty much going to get all the dirt that uh, we were able to get on this side of the pond uh, dug out today. Before we have to leave, we're just going to work a half a day today, someday. And, uh, lay this over here. I think we need to fill in that little bit of a low area right there. All that's looking pretty good.
roll it in and do it again. So I'm down here in the bottom of the cut now. Uh, I had a little edge right up against the diversion ditch. And I'm just taking that and raking it down. Kind of fill this in so that this will drain out. It does rain. And there won't be a large channel right there.
that dam right there has still got to come up about three or four more feet. So it's definitely deceiving. And uh, but wait until this thing is dug. It will be impressive how deep this thing is. Cameras just don't do it justice on uh, the size of stuff.
pretty happy about how the uh, pond dam's compacting. Literally, we spread that out, run over it with the roller. I just drove the 550 over it, which is probably over 120,000 pounds. And uh, it barely left some track prints into the ground. So I'm super happy about that. I've got uh, this pile of dirt right here that I couldn't, couldn't reach from down there to sit all the way up here. So I laid it against the bank. I'm gonna grab it, lay it in right here. And uh, this side is pretty much, well, it's the dam height isn't where it needs to be, but I've gotten all the clay that I can. And then the rest of the clay is gonna come from that entire hillside over there. So this, I knew this side would go pretty quick. That side's gonna take some time, but you know what? We have another day. Look at how much dirt we've moved right there. Does that put it into perspective? I still gotta come up probably four or five feet probably to the top of the dozer blade right there and uh so i got a lot of topsoil over here i'm gonna go ahead and start kind of stripping some of that pond actually goes all the way i don't know if you can see that flag right there and then there's another one up there by the base of those trees so all this dirt right here has got to get cut out and uh i'm gonna stockpile the topsoil to make it a little bit easier to load out and kind of see what kind of clay i've got to work with on this side of the pond dam
Got to put fuel in the beast. Burn about a half a tank so far. But moved a lot of dirt in the process. I mean a lot of dirt in a short period of time, honestly. So pretty much this half of the pond dam is done from, oh, I don't know, 30 feet. The rest of it needs four or five feet of fill. The end probably needs eight or 10. But I ran out of clay on this side. I went over there and dug some holes, some good clay over there. Got all this topsoil right here. That's probably the next thing that's gonna come out since I'm gonna need the truck for that. It's going up there. It's probably as dry as it's going to be. If it does rain, I do have the option to cut and bale that clay that way. Um, I mean, if it's just too wet for the truck, there's really no other options, but at least big girl will uh, move dirt in a hurry. So that won't be the end of the world. It'll be a lot of scoops though. So I'm gonna jump on the dozer and trim this front edge out and uh, we're gonna call it a day.
fill the uh, dozer up with fuel there real quick. So I'm uh, tickled with the progress that we've made so far. That should dry out a little bit right there. I came in here and trimmed down that front side of the dam and smoothed out the bottom right there. So this right here is pretty much grayed, but it's got to continue level on around. So that may be a little bit of a hump right there, but uh, it's deceiving. There's still like five more feet, six more feet of fill down there. Just got to go in, but I'll cut all that from over there. But there it is. Pretty good progress. And we'll be back first of next week to move some more dirt.